Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. We are jumping in again and we're building our streak. It's back to one, baby. It's back to one. And we unlocked Tainted Eden in the last episode, um, which I think this character can, can go F itself, but we're going to give him a go. Um, I haven't played him in quite quite a long time so we'll just see how we go we've got a little hook buddy and ventricle razor so basically a doo doo stinky start um here the the hook boy is interesting but not great because he pulls enemies towards you and that scares me we did just get double speed upgrades though which are stats that can't be re-rolled away from us because they're not attached to items so even if we get hit that's gonna be fine we get to keep that for our very own this guy can grab stuff though which is kind of nice but you see that though? I don't, I don't want you grabbing enemies and pulling them towards me. Rather frustrating. Rather frustrating little dude. Mama Mega? Mmm. Mama. Mama, Mama, Mega. Mama, Mega. Grab this little thing here. Don't know why I took that. Pethra rune isn't particularly useful um as this character i guess we could save the life that we're currently on but like keep an item sort of thing or get a better item for the life we're currently on i suppose it does actually help because we've got a look a look tier item low quality item we can get a high quality item and it'll stay it's a high quality i think that's how this character works right from correctly whatever tier the item is if it's a quality sort of two um it's another quality so we've got a, a, so kind of interesting um we actually got back the ability to reroll by getting the d6 here Ugh, it's gonna be a hellish run gotta see how it goes freezer baby so that's quality two i should probably just take that to be honest not super likely to get something better i would like a soul heart from you though beautiful beautiful now what's going on with this we'd need Three bombs to get all the way over there, so not really going to be happening, I don't think. Not really something I can rely on. Anyways. Take care of the boss. Of course, rerolled our stats as well, but like I said, we get to keep that speed increase we got. Rocks are going to be falling on your head every now and again. Sisyphus, unfortunately, is an item, isn't an item that's great off the bat. It has to scale up by those ancient rock fragments. Although I'm not sure how they'd work with re-rolling constantly, so I don't want to give up permanent stats now, if you know what I mean. That would be a, an ill-informed idea. That's good. Um, we don't have a trinket right now, uh, so this isn't going to make anything gold, but I think this is still a good item. And it did give us a gold one. Reveals the boss room on the map. The boss room exit is a door replaced with the treasure room after clearing it. That's unfortunate that it's um, a golden trinket because I don't think it being gold affects anything. Still, whatever. Um, so in, in theory, you can go in here. Super, super useful. I was going to say go in there and get whatever's in it and then it doesn't actually matter because we don't need a key to get into our item room anymore. We can just go straight to the boss. Which is technically still true, but I was hoping that room would have something in it and it kind of let me down kind of let me down. But good. I'm liking Freezer Baby right now. He's doing some good stuff. Freezer Baby always be doing good stuff. Look at this. Look at the amount of freeze power we've got going on here. I see you there. You think you're invisible. You think you're all hidden, but you're not. Right, so then we can go through here. Defeat our boss, which I don't know if I'm not going to get hit against. I really hate this guy a lot. Ooh, you actually stunning him there was real nice. Go try and bait out a melee attack, which is not super easy. There you go, I got hit. God damn it. Apparently we are, we are fixed in with a planetarium item now, which is rather nice. And we've got an adjustment card here, which is decent. Unfortunately, our item that takes us back to the thingy room is gone now, though. Consolation prize is decent enough. Yeah, I, I one that was going to take us back to the item room we no longer have. Unfortunately, the D6 was traded for the poop, so I was entirely wrong about the quality level thing that I spoke of before, I think. But I don't think we'd have got the poop otherwise. I, I, I don't exactly know. I think it might just be item room type, so if it's a planetarium item, it will always be a planetarium item. I think I was wrong otherwise, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Mars... 
Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick, Mars. Can open this now at least. All bombs spawned by the player will become copper bombs. That sounds real useful. Thanks, game. Now, enemies will attack this white fly. Um, they will go for it, so we can kind of leave it to do its own thing a little bit. I will try and utilize Mars, but no promises. No promises. Wow. Mars, thank you. That was super valuable. You got me hit and everything. Now we're fat. Now I'm just a chunkster. Yeah. Stats are unfortunately not great. Fire rate is pretty low here. Good. Whatever. This is cube of rot. Not great. Okay. Out we go. And we, of course, will quickly pop into our shop. See what's going on over there. As for the question of the day, simple and basic one. What have you been up to before you watch this episode? What, what have you been getting up to? What was the thing that you did directly before watching this? What video did you watch? What thing were you doing? I'd be intrigued to know. Take whatever it is. Alabaster box. I will take the alabaster box. I haven't used the alabaster box in a real long time. So we'll see if it ends up being a terrible play or not. But let's give it a go. It'll, it'll probably get re-rolled before I fill it up, which is the, the major issue, really. But... To be, to be fair, th this room right here is going to get me hit. This room right here is a fucking nightmare. Dude, I can't fucking hit this guy. All the goddamn herming shots. Bloody hell, that was frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. All the coins. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fire it. So poor. He's so poor. What we got in here? I, I'm getting annoyed by this room. I'm honestly going to plant a bomb here just to make this room easier to traverse. Because I'm annoyed by it. I will go for this. I have already re-rolled. God damn it. Alabaster box is gone as soon as it became. As soon as it was a thing, it ceased to exist. And we keep rolling pretty awful items here. Pretty awful items and not great stats. 2.61 damage is not, not me feeling good, I'll be honest. Not might have me in the mood for a good trinket there, but doesn't matter if it's a good trinket, it'll be gone soon. I miss Pooter, she's she's doing a, a grand old job, to be honest. A grand old job. But we just gotta accept our lot in life. Oh, and walk into an enemy. Use my active here to get a bunch of things stuck to us. Although for some reason it only did three rather than four, and not that great. <laughs> That was a little unfortunate. Now, PhD is good. Power pill. Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance. Maybe should have bought the uh, active item since I don't have an active item anymore. We'll see if we can get enough money for it. We might be able to. What does this trinket do? Spawn unlocked. Okay. I like that. Nice. Everything be charmed. Everything be charmed. Dude, you, you were charmed. How dare you? Um, Actually got some pretty decent stuff here. Oh, we do have brownie, though. We have some pretty decent stuff, but we also have brownie. So 
soul heart there is rather necessary. Thank you. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay. A little scary, but Freeze has become a, a main tenant of our runs here. We're getting Freeze a lot of the time for whatever reason instead of reason. I made a pun. Haha. <laughs> Laugh, please. Please. Oh my god. Anyways, let's stop with my terrible jerks and carry on with this reasonable run. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's reasonable. Pennies. Keep it moving. Oh, almost, almost. Good lad, almost. You are, again, frozen. But we bombed like a ton of them there. With my bomb and the corn mine. It's all getting involved. Holy hell, that was very, very nice. Pheromones here with, with, with I was going to say with Venus, we don't need it. We don't have Venus anymore. I keep forgetting that. Brownie is going to get me so screwed. Come on, dude. Just pop your little head up. And of course you do, and then I'm in a terrible spot to hit you, so... I can't hit you. God damn it. We re-rolled again. Ow. Got a side fly this time. Not terrible. Got an angel deal as well. I like that. Not an insanely good angel item, but it's an angel item nonetheless. Beautiful. Don't know if we can do this without getting hit, but I'm going to try. Yep. I, I said that way too soon, didn't I? Why do I keep getting fatso here? And why whenever I'm fatso is my fire rate terrible? No, it hit me again. <laughs> Sick of that. Also, we can go back to that shop and get a little active now because we've got Buku books. Big money. Yes. I did mean to do that. I did mean to do that. You did not witness anything stupid. That was me doing something on purpose, intentional. Because I am smart. Really? That's not secret room? Oof. Yes, I am smart. You saw nothing wrong. I'm liking how visually appealing my character is right now. With the little wisps and then the white-blue orbs going around our head. I will buy a soul heart from you, good sir. Thank you. Right. Back we go again. Back we go again. Let's see what we can get done, shall we? Not terribly, terribly um, disliking the items we have right now, to be honest. We've got the friendly sack, which I love. We've got the crucifix, which is pretty good. We've got the satanus, which is good. We've got parasitoid, which is extremely good. Some pretty decent stuff here, I'd say. Pretty decent stuff. Okay, it's a rebirth doing its thing. Only thing is, enemies that are... Oh, I guess they're frozen. We can't freeze enemies anymore. Dullard. It's so hard to get used to that. I'm thinking in the past. Also, we've got the spinny... Spinny, spinny. See it? Little spiky spinny spinning around, spiking. Spiky spinny. You know what I say? You know what I say? Spiky spinny. I like him. Cute. Spiky, spinny, is cute. Very good. Dude, this is pretty good. All this herming in here. <laughs> I don't know how you keep summoning things, but... I'll leave the wizardry up to you, good sir. Anger, I like.
Seems like Parasitoid isn't really triggering much when we're uh, killing enemies this way. It's a shame, but whatever. I'd like to get those stomping boots as well, the old relic, because it's just going to be useful. Uh, permanent Orbital Ghost, that she Spectral Tears and can block any projectiles. We don't have a trinket right now, so that sounds good to me. Hello. Just looking for the item room now. Just looking for the little item room. Would I like a rotten heart? Maybe. Maybe. The solid maybe. Dude, my spiky was in like the perfect position there to do some good damage. I like that. And it's just Frog Boy left, is it? Frogging it up. Playing Frogger. Oh, there's another frog about. Can't just be frogging it the whole time. Dude. For, upon first entering a room right now, we are in a good spot. Also, tech two will certainly take. Ouija board. Nine lives, you say? Nine lives. I'm going to take nine lives right now. Um, because... I don't know. Apparently it works now, and even if it doesn't, it's fine. I don't know. I can't remember if it works now. Someone told me it works now, but... Hey, her. I'll just take it. Oh, I bought a bomb by accident. You dullard. Fuck yeah. Herming on this beam now. It's rather nice. This is the one the guy that only spawns stuff, isn't it? Well, he got taken care of nice and easy. And that's pretty good. Extra speed out of combat is lovely. And the HP is very nice as well. Okay. Things are going reasonably well. Right now, things are going reasonably. Yeah, laser plus the homing that we're getting here is real, real nice. Also means enemies that explode into stuff no longer explode. Crucifix is helping us with that nicely. It seems that because we've got the stapler as well, we're only firing the tech laser. Hmm. Tammy's head, maybe. Nothing here. Oh, we do have a black market, of course. Unfortunately, it's a pretty rubbish black market, i got to say. Although trinkets galore. Herming gem that can uh, be cast while attacking. Six enemies inflict damage and bruising. Interesting. Inflicts bruising and deals knockback. Let's go with that one, shall we? Cool. Right, Anger gave us some more damage there as well. I don't know how long we're going to keep him, what we've got going on here, but so far I'm pretty happy with a lot in life, so I'd rather not lose it. I love the fact that enemies aren't doing their on-death effects. It's it's like Uran um, Uranus, but like, way more valuable for us right now. Working a lot better. I never want to lose these items. Sure that I will very shortly, but for right now, I'd rather not. Where you at, last fella? Good, good, good. All good. We've, we haven't seen the item room yet again. How do we keep accidentally missing the item room? Very frustrating. Luckily, obviously, that massive speed boost out of combat is helping us backtrack easily without much complaints from me, although I will still get them in when I can. I will still complain where I can, of course. That was a very close to getting hit there. That spooked me a bit. I really like this build and I do not want to see it go, but I know that we have to live in a world where it will disappear at some point and I will have to cry. Not even. Eh, actually, no, because we'll get hit and it'll disappear. Be fine. I do not like it. 
Right. Speed back to the Bosch room. This is Dank Depths 1. Bosch Rush is eh. I don't know if we'll make Bosch Rush yet. We will see. Uh, back, the backtracking we've done hasn't helped. Oh god, we got Bicycle Man. Now this is a lot harder because we don't get our uh, herming or anything with this dude. And this dude is a pain in the ass as you can clearly see. Oh, we do get some herming here. What the fuck? Thought I wasn't expecting that. Dude, oh my. Oh, we're still bleeding. Good. Didn't expect that, but there you go. Fuck this boss. So hard. So, so hard. Why am I still bleeding? Come on now. F. Big F here. Got a key pieces at least, but yeah. Very upset to lose that last run. That last one was very fun. Had some really cool stuff going on. And I just unfortunately got a boss that isn't compatible with me doing well. <laughs> Sadly, it is not. <laughs> Trying to get the... Uh, Strawberry where I can, because it does give us a permanent small boost to our luck. And I think that'll last after the after we get rid of the item as well, you know. I like how the, the fires work with Molten Slag and the uh, the actual flamethrower item itself. They, 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 they work in conjunction pretty well together, I like it. I'm, I'm guessing that is like something that's been pre-programmed. Hey, see the room. Nice. Good. Probably got a good amount of juice in the flamethrower as well. Charge there. This is doing great damage. It'll give us a lot back. Good, good. Hopefully we can go to our item room first time this time. I'd like to get over there to get to that, but I don't know if I'll get to it in time. Nope, just missed it. Good. God, I've got so many charges from that room. Holy hell, up to 20 already. Found the boss first again here. We've got flight here, which means we can get the Baleful Heart. Which means we can grab that and that. Ah, oh, we got hit. God damn it. Ooh, we do have that, though. Okay. I like Mentamor Mentamori? Mentamori? I can't remember. We've also got... Okay, this is a pretty good run. This is a pretty good run. I think it's more than pretty good. I think it's very good. Lots of money there. Not sure how valuable having this much money is going to be to us, but there you go. So we can shortcut through here. Unfortunately, we no longer have this speed outside a combat room, and we are now a slug. We are a complete slug boy. Cannot move very fast at all. Ow. Don't even know what hit me there. But we got our jar back. We apparently have Ludo now. Yeah, that's not great. The Peeler Duplex. We have Pyro as well, apparently. And then, yeah, our starting item is still Mars. Ugh. I guess I'll just use the flamethrower for the entirety of this boss fight. Although it's not going to be quite as delicious as it previously was. Because of course, this time around, we don't have the additional fires from the Molten Slag. Which kind of sucks. But 
it shall do. I'm supposed to let this guy pick, this, pick these things up, but I don't care about your money. I just want to leave. Right. I accidentally used Mars there. It kind of worked out, actually. Why am I getting so much knockback from this flamethrower, dude? Oh, it's because I'm slippy. Because I've got Brownie again. Brownie haunts me. Tries to steal my children. Right, let's keep it going. I kind of want to get hit again just to reroll, but I know it's not a, a great idea. Especially when we've actually got some decent HP here. We've got some baleful hearts and stuff going on. Good. Oh god. Oh, that was very close to me being hit there. Just about got out of that. Nice. Keeping our soul count reasonably high when we're using this thing. Kind of difficult to do, but we're staying on top of it. Means we don't ever run out of ammo. That's the aim, at least. But we'll see if we can manage that. Okay, sadly, didn't really get much out of that. We're going to have very few souls to fight the boss with, which I don't really like, but... Just got to go for. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Because these are stats that will stay with us forever. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything amazing. But the, uh, the damage and two fire rate ups is nice. HP up is good too. And then we've got Pride Pin. Thank you very much. And a Soul Heart there as well. Okay. Reasonable. I'm reasonably happy right now. Let's just keep this pumping on, shall we? Keep this pumping on. Oh, dude, my Ludo tier is tiny. Look at this little thing. Look, all the way at the top of the screen, in the middle of this care store. I was like, where is it? That That's my Ludo tier. Are you kidding? Oh, it's bigger in this room now, but still. I don't know why it was so small before. Puzzle piece I'll take at least. Puzzle piece. Favorite food. Still want to use my fire more often than not, though, I think. Just a reliable way of doing some good damage. Glad I got this unlocked. By the way, I think my mic is fine at the moment, but if, if the volume levels are off, let me know if, I, if I'm too quiet again. My mic's still be, it's still been playing up. I'm definitely considering getting a new one at the moment. The only thing stopping me is that the, if I get a new one and that ends up being a software issue, I'm going to like, look like a real idiot. But I suppose if I order it on Amazon, I can always send it back within like a week if it's if that is the case. So I guess it's worth a try to just buy a new one. Yeah, this, this one has been annoying me with getting quieter and stuff and... I think it's okay at the moment, but I, I'd rather get confirmation from you guys because I think I'm over-analyzing things and you guys are probably absolutely fine with the sound quality right now. Oh god, got myself hit there. What's going on exactly? Okay, I'm here. I, I'm firing stars for some reason. I don't know what that's about. Very teeny tiny. Got some decent stuff. I've got Brownie again. Why does why does Brownie keep making its way into all my builds? It knows I hate it, doesn't it? It knows. Liking these star tiers though, they're pretty cool. Oh god, I got hit straight away there. Oh, and I got hit again apparently. My bad. We got a very bad active item here. That was some bad hits there by me. Very bad hits indeed. Huge fire rate boost there. I like that. There is a D4 there. I could D4 this all, but what's the point? I might as well just get hit once. This seems decent enough. Oh my god. If I uh, use secretion... It just fires an absolutely insane barrage of fire. 
Ow, got hit there. Ooh. I think it's this one we want, yellow. Yeah, yellow's the one with Herman. Good. Oh, God, I forgot this boss had changed. I'm not used to it all. Oh, my God. Things are not going well, hombres. Barely even able to keep on top of what items I have and what I don't have. Am I blocking tears or there's no tears to get fired at me there? I'm not quite sure. I'm getting levels up from this star item, I think. Alright, good. Made it through. Kept the eternal heart alive as well, which I'm very happy about. Oh, we got we got an angel deal and it turned into one of these. Are you kidding me? Yep. <laughs> I guess we could try Hush. Why not, I guess? Probably there's many reasons why not, but I'm going to do it anyways. These out. Not an active, so I'll take it. Nugget bombs is decent. Okay. Let's go. Probably a bad idea. Why's my fire? It's so bad. Okay, I've been hit already, so that's good. Unsure what's going on with this run. My fire rate is a lot worse now. Okay, I've got Bookworm now. <laughs> I have recoil on my shots now as well. Oh god, this is all going so terribly, so quickly. The recoil on my shots is terrible, I hate that. I don't think I've ever fought this phase for this long. Snail boy, get in this action here. Get up in this. Can't have you left out. Just chilling back there. That's unfair to everyone else. Justice. Thanks. <laughs> Use that while we're here. I mean, it did give me a heart, which is pretty valuable, to be honest. Didn't even think about that. We are dealing moderate damage. Moderate damage, indeed. Got about a quarter of his health off already. I was wondering why my, kit, my tears were all different colours, but I think it's because of those little flashing things from the Celestial Crown that's going around our head. Oh, it's also a prank cookie. I didn't realise we had prank cookie. Prank cookie helps. Bombs aren't the greatest here, though. Thing is, I want to get hit for a better build, but what if I get hit and get a worse one? We've clearly shown that our worst one's out there, so... It's a little scary. Also, like, I kind of maybe need my health. I don't know. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I got hit anyways. You know, this seems terrible. I've got really low damage. Pretty low fire rate. Like, why is, why is this so bad? How do I have a run this bad this late into the game? Got some cool items in there, mind you, but overall just doesn't feel that great. Maybe stick piercing on it, it could be kind of good. But right now, it's not really got the coherence to carry us. Oh, yes, and to top it all off, Bob's brain and marks. Not, not, not marks, you know what I meant. 
Mars. That's the one. Okay, this seems more fun. Not so. Not gonna say if it seems better, but it seems more fun. Seems probably worse, actually. See what I mean? You just somehow always get worse. Ow. Very bad hit there. Oh my god. How, how do you get this far into a run and have 5.3 damage? How can I have this many items and have 5.3 damage? Game. Why? How? It's evil is what I tell you. It's evil. I have to do the entire rest of this without getting hit as well, which... Don't like the idea of the amount of HP I currently have. Yeah. <laughs> Mistake to go to the hush fight, but there you go. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.